the MS-DOS executive, an appointment calendar, a card file, a notepad, a clock, a control panel, a terminal, a trip for a RAM driver, and can you believe it? Reversi, that's right. All these features in Reversi, all for just $99. That's right. The first ever version of Windows, Windows 1.01, was released on November 20, 1985. The system required two floppy disk drives and a whopping 256 kilobytes of RAM and a monochrome monitor. Windows 1 offered some basic multitasking of existing MS-DOS programs. Windows 1 is often regarded as front-end to the MS-DOS operating system, a description which has also been applied to subsequent versions of Windows. Since graphics support was bad in MS-DOS, Windows 1 came with drivers for many of the devices. Windows 1 did not allow overlapping windows, instead they were tiled. Only dialog boxes could pop up over the window. Windows 2 was released on December 9, 1987. First notable thing that it brought was the ability to overlap window. It also introduced more and better keyboard shortcut. Windows 2 also introduced something present even today, the control panel. It also included VGA graphics, but only 16 color. Windows 2.1, among other things, brought protected mode, which is present even today. Released on May 22, 1990, Windows 3 became the first widely successful version of Windows. It included a significantly better UI and a better memory management thanks to Intel's CPUs. Program Manager was added, and Control Panel saw some improvements too. Regarding the graphics, Windows 3 now supported a whopping 256 colors. Windows 3.1 brought backwards compatibility, and the popular Minesweeper was added, and a crude version of drag and drop feature. Windows 3.1 was also the first version of Windows to ship on CDs. Windows 95 was a major game changer. It was released on August 24, 1995. It merged Microsoft DOS and Windows products. And of course, a huge upgrade regarding the UI. It introduced the start. It also introduced the Microsoft sound. Running apps were now displayed on the taskbar. Plug and play was now much more simplified. Long file names have also been introduced and the file name can now be 256 characters long. I can talk about Windows 95 a lot, it brought a ton of new features, it was a big upgrade, but I don't really have time to talk about it. Windows 98 was released on May 1998. Visually, it was quite similar to Windows 95. Yes, it did bring some new features and elements in the UI, but nothing really special. It was the first version of Windows to support multiple monitors, something present even today. It also had better USB support and supported hibernation. Disc-related tools like defragmentation and check disk also got improved. You are now able to update your system using Windows Update, something we all love to do. Windows 98 Second Edition was released on May 5, 1999 and it brought a lot of fixes and improvements. Some of the new features Windows 98 Second Edition brought is Internet Explorer 5. How exciting! Windows ME, often called Windows Mistake Edition, was released on September 2000. Windows ME, or Windows Millennium, came with a refreshed UI and brought many new features. Some of those features are Windows Movie Maker, System Restore, automatic updates, on-screen keyboards, etc. It would have been even better if those features actually worked. That would be perfect, but I didn't. The problem with Windows Millennium was that it ran poorly and often crashed, often froze, and that just straight out did not work. The most popular version of Windows, Windows XP, was released on October 25, 2001. It too brought an overhauled UI with a lot of new visual elements and of course it saw a huge boost in performance and stability compared to its predecessor Windows Mistake Edition part of Millennium. Windows XP came in two editions, Home Edition and Professional Edition. It also included Windows product activation. Windows XP had three service pack updates. Service pack 1 didn't bring anything special, it just had a lot of bug fixes, over 300 of them. Service pack 2 was concentrated mostly on security, it 
introduced a lot of new security features. It also got Bluetooth support and Wi-Fi support was enhanced. Surge Pack 3 included almost 1200 fixes and it brought truckloads of new but minor features. Windows Vista was released on January 30, 2007. It too was a major overhaul regarding the UI. All joking aside, after some time, Vista was not that bad. Sure, at the beginning, it was awful, it was terrible, it was crappy, it was sluggish, it was unstable. Also, many criticized its high system requirements. Early updates got rid of most of the problems, but yeah, it was still bad. As I said, it brought Iro, which looks nice. Something huge that Vista brought was DirectX 10. Thanks to DirectX 10, games ran much more faster and much smoother. I have to say, Microsoft is not proud about Vista. But that did not stop them from rushing out Windows 7, which is basically what Vista should have been. Windows 7 was released on July 22, 2009. Visually, Windows 7 was not that much different from Vista. Sure, it did bring some new UI elements and some new features, but it was nothing special or nothing noteworthy. Windows 7 was mostly focused on performance and stability, and it did not disappoint. It booted faster, it ran fast, it ran more stable, it ran more reliable, it ran more secure, etc. Windows 7 is still a common sight. Even though mainstream support ended on January 13, 2015. Released on October 26, 2013, Windows 8 was another major overhaul. It was based on the touch optimized Metro design. The intention of Windows 8 was to run on PCs with and without touchscreens. There were a lot of complaints to Microsoft that the new UI was too difficult to learn and too complicated for some people. However, Windows 8 saw a huge boost in performance, as it ran much snappier than Windows 7. Thanks to hybrid boot, it booted way faster than 7 ever did. Another big feature Windows 8 brought is the store, which is present even today on Windows 10. Windows 8 got rid of the start button, but it was back in Windows 8.1. Speaking of which, Windows 8.1 was released the following year. 8.1 was more focused on the UI, as it wanted to make Windows 8 more friendly for traditional desktops, that did not have a touch screen. Released on July 29, 2015, Windows 10 is the best of both worlds as it perfectly ran on computers with and without a touch screen at the same time. It combined the simplicity of Windows 7, yet kept the touch friendly options of Windows 8 and Windows 8.1. It brought truckloads of new features like virtual desktops, which was extremely helpful. It brought truckloads of new features like virtual desktops, which is super helpful. It brought Microsoft Edge, which is a really good browser, I have to say. It brought Cortana, face recognition, and most importantly, it brought DirectX 12, and etc. etc. There's a lot of stuff that Windows 10 has brought. At the very beginning, Windows 10 did felt a bit rushed. Some of the features were not working that well, but those rough edges were ironed out quite fast and Windows 10, in my opinion, is one of the best Windows has ever released. So yeah guys, thank you guys so much for watching, make sure to like and subscribe and I will be seeing ya, peace. Windows 1 did did Windows 2.1 among other things blot 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 will do Windows 3.1 brought backward compatibility compatibility between <laughs> Windows 3.1 brought backwards backwards what the fuck <laughs> Windows 3.1 brought backwards compatibility and popular <laughs> And of course, a huge upgrade in the river. It introduced the start. It, in the, it, in the, uh, it introduced the start. It introduced the It introduced. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs>
bloody hell. It and 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 it Windows 7 is still commonly available, even though mainstream support ended on ended and Windows win Windows Windows mainstream support ended on January January. Loads of new features like virtual desktops, desktops.